I'm Dr. Lalita, founder for the brand for men. Hidden hunger and how it can lead to hair loss. This is what we shall discuss today. Normally, when a person is malnourished or starved, it is very evident physically. You can see they are emaciated. But in the case of hidden hunger, this is something that does not manifest itself physically. You will not be able to make out the person is emaciated. This occurs because of a deficiency of micronutrients. Now, deficiency of macronutrients like proteins, carbohydrates and fats will lead to starvation and is physically evident. But these micronutrients are vitamins and minerals that are required by the body in very small quantities in the form of milligrams. So when they are deficient, certain vital processes at the cellular level get affected and it takes quite some time for the deficiency of these micronutrients to be physically seen. So what are these micronutrients? Vitamins like vitamin A, D, biotin and the rest of the B vitamins and minerals like iron, iodine, selenium, boron, copper, etc. The micronutrient deficiencies usually manifest after quite some time and are not easily detectable but they can be very detrimental and lead to a lot of various disease conditions. So let us specifically discuss what are the micronutrients that are essential for hair health and the deficiency of which can lead to hair loss and result in balding. To start off with the iron, iron as we all know is very important for the formation of hemoglobin and deficiency of iron can lead to anemia but it's very important to remember that it is not just the deficiency of iron but for the formation of hemoglobin you also need other micronutrients like vitamin A, copper, B12, folic acid etc. Deficiency of iron would obviously result in anemia and lead to less amount of blood supply and oxygen to the hair follicles thereby causing them to get weakened and fall off. Biotin. Biotin is vitamin B7 and that has been extremely popularized uh, in the recent years. But you have to remember that it is just not biotin that is whole and soul responsible for hair growth and hair health but in combination with a lot of other vitamins and minerals. Biotin of course contributes to growth of hair follicles and in helping hair growth and preventing hair loss. Cysteine. Cysteine is another amino acid which is required in small quantities for adequate hair health. Cysteine is essential for the formation of disulfide bonds in keratin. Thereby, it helps increase the keratin production and help keep the hair moisturized and less dry. Vitamin B5, also called as pantothenic acid, is again another essential vitamin that is responsible for hair health. It helps nourish the hair follicles and thereby help in hair growth and preventing hair fall. Selenium. Selenium is another micronutrient or a mineral that is less often discussed, less often tested and about which most people are not aware. Selenium is very important for the antioxidant pathways and in activating a few enzymes which are a part of this antioxidant pathways and help in reducing free radicals. Free radicals as you know are very harmful and having adequate amounts of selenium in the body is very important for maintaining good hair health. Copper is another micronutrient that is important for the formation of hemoglobin and is also very important for peptide linkages. It also helps promote the anagen phase that is the phase in which the hair actively grows. Zinc is another mineral, a micronutrient that has of course become very popular during this COVID times as regards immunity. But again it's also very important part of multiple enzymatic pathways and deficiency of zinc can also lead to hair fall. Manganese. Manganese is another micronutrient or a mineral that is again less well known but manganese is very important in a lot of biological processes at the cellular level and deficiency of manganese can definitely lead to poor health of the hair, skin and nails because manganese is very important for collagen formation. Folic acid. Folic acid is again vitamin B6 and that is responsible amongst a various other important functions. It is also very essential for maintaining the health of the hair and it gives you that hair glow and hair volume. So it's very important that we know that other than these macronutrients of protein, carbohydrates and fats, these minerals and vitamins that are required in the milligram level are also very important for overall health as well as hair health. See the best way to get these various micronutrients into our body is by taking a varied diet but it may be difficult to have a very varied diet consisting of multiple vegetables, fruits, 
meat and other dairy products every day in our life the help of supplements can always be taken but whenever you're looking for supplements be very careful that you read the label and then you buy supplements from brands or companies that have backing of healthcare professionals so take care of your diet use supplements if necessary and a little bit of care now can go a long way in preventing hospitalization and illnesses in the future